everyone, alongside Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Welcome to Raleigh, North Carolina. Ray, an opportunity to take a real stranglehold on this one here tonight. Another win would really put them in a good spot. Driver's seat for sure. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere, we're underway. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Puck is dropped, and play resumes. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. And he slides it quickly to Niederreiter. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Here they are on the attack. That's not going to fool them. While the setters are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Huge hit! Whoa, he got rattled hard. Not only that, he dropped his stick. Now he's got to collect himself and go pick up his twig as well. Shea's looking to make something happen here in the corner. Puts it on net. Stops him with the glove. Underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. And now it's over to Hamilton. They've got the defense outnumbered. Stones him in front. We'll go back and look at that hit here, James. Now, I was never one to deliver one of these hits. But man, did you ever notice whether your team was given or taken. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Strom. Here's an opportunity, just wide. Feeds it down low. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. Through the offensive zone and behind the net now. Shuts it down. Taken by Simon. Big stop by the keeper. Quick work, he makes one and two saves in a row. Hamilton's got it into offensive territory. Quick pass to Strom. Slides it over to Simone. They've got numbers. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Into the corner. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. The Penguins gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. The Hurricanes have it from their own end. Quick pass to Stahl. And player hauled down to the ice. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. Let's see the call here. Sin bin bound for tripping. I always hated taking tripping penalties. It always felt like there was something I could have done better than that. Pittsburgh sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. What a great opportunity to get the first strike on the board. Scoreless game, you go on the power play. You want to attack this. You can change the way the game looks in the next two minutes. Start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. And manages to clear the zone. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. And that one's broken up. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Grabbed along the boards by Shea. Tries to get the puck over to Crosby. Here's a shot. Oh, what a stop. And the goalie covers up for the whistle.
Offense his own face off, and he wins the draw. And he comes up with a big time save on that. Carolina's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded, and manages to clear the zone. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck. Excellent stick work on the play. Denied by the goaltender. Team in style. Visit our team store for all the latest styles of jerseys, shirts, hats, and other collectibles. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. From the point, looks to make something happen. Puck grabbed by Van Riemsdyk. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Gets it out of his own end. Looking to break out here on the power play. Moves it quickly over to McGinn. Rocks him. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Wanted to get... Scores! They deliver big time with the man advantage. Yeah, they use that extra man to their advantage. Move the puck very quickly. That's a nice goal. Doesn't miss too many, James. He leads his team in goals for a reason. Pittsburgh's had all sorts of opportunities here in this first period. They finally lead. But I've liked the way that they've done this, James, because they haven't started to press. They've just continued to be aggressive, to work the forecheck, and they're finally rewarded. By number 59, Jake Gensel, and by number 4, Justin Schultz. Time of the goal, 10 minutes, 32 seconds. The Penguins have had way more chances offensively, and as a result, they're leading in this one. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Pittsburgh's capitalized on their offensive abilities here in this first period. Ajo's one possession. With some momentum driving towards the net. Huge stick saved by the goaltender. And now it's grabbed by Ajo. Here's a shot. Oh, the double G, the great glove. Here in the back half of this period, 1-0 the score. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Shot, nothing. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Murray's right on top of that chance. Great A spot, great A save. Now a quick pass to Halla. Carries it across the line. Centering pass, and that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Tripped up on the play, delayed penalty coming up. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Here comes the official's decision. Svechnikov's getting called for two minutes here by the officials. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go serve his minor penalty. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. Well, they've earned another power play, James. Of course, that starts with an offensive zone face-off. They've had success earlier in the game. They'll want to double up on that now if they can. And manages to clear the zone. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. And now he tries to get it across to Hornquist. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Centering pass, and that's broken up. Gets it out of his own end. Pittsburgh's got the puck behind the net. Moves it on over to Hornquist. Moves it to Simone. Puck picked up by Strom. Gets in front of it. There are rock stars, and then there's next level to that. And our guest coming up in period number two defines it. Snoop Dogg coming up here on EA Sports. Here in the late goings of the period, we got a 1-0 game to this point. 
Puck scooped up by Pedersen. Oh, he stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. The focus of the other team is going to be on him. He's one of the league leaders in points, and they've got to find a way to shut him down. The Penguins lead it here late this first period. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. Great defensive stick work on the play. Trying to gain a step. He's in, all alone. What a save on the play. Scores, and the power play strikes again. James, they've been working on this in practice for the last little while. It's come through big for them tonight. the power play there. They move the puck around and they're able to find him right in the middle of the slot. Pittsburgh's boasting a comfortable 2-0 lead. Ray, what are you seeing down at ice level? Domination, James. They've got the puck the whole time. Eventually, you're going to crack the other goalie and they have a second time. Quick feed to Rust. Carolina's got it behind the net. Into the offensive zone. Loose puck battle along the boards. And now he moves it to Rust. Carolina's got control of it now from their own end. With authority. He got all of that hit. Taken by Rust. That's taken away. Great defensive effort there. Carolina's had outstanding stick positioning. Coaches will love to show this in the video tomorrow. Pittsburgh's got the lead here late in this first period. McCann's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Aston Reese plays it into the offensive zone. That knocks him off the puck. Here's an odd man rush. Great read to break up the play. He scores! I thought they were going to run out of time here, James. This is a terrific time to strike here. Now you carry over the ambition. You come out for the next period feeling really good about yourself. That's a pretty big blunder in the defensive zone. It cost them a goal there. Control this game here in the first period. More shots, more goals. I have been looking forward to this one for a while, but coming up, period number two, the one, the only, Snoop Dogg in the house. Now's your chance to play the game. Join us at our arena as the first sports and entertainment facility in the entire country to use 100% renewable energy. From your plastic cup. And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period. When did you start getting into hockey? Man, I used to listen to a man named Chick Hearns. He used to do the uh, games back in the 80s. He man. was a basketball guy too, right? Yeah, man, but he did the hockey too, and he was dope. And I used to watch the game and see all the players and fell in love with him. Man, hockey's a fun sport to watch. Was he was he as entertaining from a hockey standpoint? More, as a... more entertaining. Very, very, really? very entertaining. Pass across to Ajo. Slavin's cut on the offensive end. From the slot, Risha comes up with the stick save. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. It's 2-1. 
Malkin's won it off the faceoff. And here's the pass to Strom with the stop. Pittsburgh's got the lead on the scoreboard. A big reason of that has been the amount of pucks that they've been putting on net. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. And there's the save. Pittsburgh's been the more aggressive team offensively, and they continue to lead here in the second. Vulcans won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Comes up with the stop. Pittsburgh's got the lead here early in this second period. Their offense has been clicking on all cylinders thus far. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. You're all about pushing boundaries, creating an image. When you were a kid, how old were you when your first album dropped? Man, I was like maybe 19 years old. Okay, so a lot of young players around the NHL can appreciate that sort of vibe. For those guys that are kind of building their own brand right now, what do you say to them? Say, man, stay true to what you do and master your craft, you understand me? And go study the greats. If there's somebody that you love that was great, go study him and see what he did to become great and try to be greater. Carolina's got the puck along the wall, and he takes a shot. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. Rips it from the blue line. Oh, makes the save. That was a rocket. And he slides it quickly to Dissingle. That's just a great heads-up read at center ice. Fogel's got the puck. Lugs the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Tries to make that cross-ice feed. You're the man who gave us Hockey 101. Where'd that originate from? Say, man, you know, teaching and, you know, just trying to educate while at the same time I was learning. So it was a fun thing to do. Hopefully we can do more of it. You always been a teacher? Man, I love teaching, man. That's what I do best. He is an educator, people. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the one, the only Snoop Dogg. And thanks for doing this. Do you, do you want to just say, hang out, watch the rest of the period up here with us? If you don't mind, I mean, I want to occupy this seat and, you know, watch some more good hockey, man. It's the best seat tonight. I can assure you we will make room. He is staying, everybody. Let's He's go, staying. yo, hey. Moves the puck along the half wall. Denies him on the play. No loose change around the front. I like the way he directs this into the corner. Comes up with the stop. Well past the midway mark of this period, we've got a 2-1 game. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Sends it in on the attack. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. Carries it in. Here's a short pass to Crosby. And that shot dies in traffic. Here's a chance. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Here's a chance. What a move! Way to finish. Way to Stars. finish. Good job. Great job. Once you get the goalie down, you better not give him another chance. The shooter sticks this right up into the top of the net. Perfect goal. Pittsburgh's got an insurance marker here. They now lead by two in the second. Don't back off, though. Keep pushing ahead. Play the game in the offensive half of the ice. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Along the half wall with the puck. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. Good use of the body on the play. Blocker save. Scooped up along the wall by Tanev. And another stop. Here they come on the attack. It's a two on one. Oh, no worries. Save. Split the defense. The Dogfather's loving that one. Man, the split. Good defense. Lickety split. Hello. The Penguins have generated plenty of quality scoring chances and a big reason why they lead late in the second period. 
Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Pittsburgh's got the puck in their own end. Look oh, at this. Right the way. He's out there. Oh, back in the net. Give me mine. What a move, baby. Were you expecting this when you got up here? No way, no how. Wow, he rifled that past the goaltender. He had such good speed, the goalie's backing up quickly, but he can't get to the spot where the puck is. Pittsburgh's refused to let up that chokehold here in the late stages of this second period. Total control of the hockey game from the beginning, and they have piled it on here in the middle frame. Pushes it across to Hamilton. Sends it in deep. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. Quick pass to Bubstad. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. The Penguins with a total team effort to this point as they lead comfortably here in the second. Crosby's won it. Puck grabbed by Shea. Let's it go! Shuts him down. The Hurricanes scoop it up along the boards. Under a minute to go here inside the second period. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Moves it quickly over to Stahl. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. You're going to take a chance once in a while if your team's trailing. All right, third period action is just around the corner. Our special thanks. I got to calm down here. What a treat to hang out with Snoop Dogg. Third period coming up. Two periods now in the books. One more still to come, and we're sitting at 4-1. The third period is just moments away, and both Ray and I will be ready to bring you all the action here on EA Sports. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action. Ready to go. 20 minutes to go here in regulation of what has been a very one-sided affair. And the puck is in, but it's being waved off immediately here. Yeah, I like when all goals count, but I, I think this has to be waved off. This is goalie interference. Morazic's not very happy on this. The puck beat him, but right away he's signaling to the ref that he was interfered with. Yeah, it looks like interference on the play here, Ray. Let's get another look. Well, they obviously didn't like the call, but not a lot of time to dwell on it as we are ready to get play back underway. Crosby's won the draw. Shot along the wall, and a great save. Moves it to Crosby. Denies him again. Shea's got it behind his own net. Pittsburgh's got the puck here in the open ice. Easy peasy right there by Morazic. Strong use of the body. Takes it across the blue line. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Pittsburgh's relentless physical play has helped them get the lead in this game. Pittsburgh's offense has been a thing to watch tonight as they lead it big time here early in the third. Carolina's won it. Hamilton's got the puck in his own zone. On the attack along the boards. Big time stop there. Quick feed to Schultz. Great timing to come up with the interception. Here's a short pass to Svechnikov. Right to the middle. Knocked away. The Penguins have it against the wall. With possession along the wall. Puck battle along the boards. Taken along the wall by Svechnikov. Williams takes it across the line. Quick pass to Strom. Carolina's got possession at center. Sends a pass over. Slides it across. 
Tries to get it over to Cajon. Takes a shot, and he comes up with the save. He clearly thought he had room to get by, but it got closed off in a hurry. He took a big hit there. Pittsburgh's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Pittsburgh's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Center's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. Pittsburgh's got it in the neutral zone. Grabs control of it at the point. Nice feed from the goaltender. Slides the puck to the single. Let's it go. And that one's stopped. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. The single's going to play it against the half wall. Scores! Now it's a two ball game. Well, now they've got something to build on here. They feel now, I'm sure, like they're in the game because when you're down three, it seems forever away. This drives coaches crazy. Everybody's staring at the player behind the net. He's only dangerous if you turn the net around. The dangerous guy's in front of the net. Oh, yeah, he's the guy that scored. scratching and clawing back as they light the lamp with a big one here in the third. Little momentum, little more energy. Now they've had the puck a lot. They have to continue to push. Take a chance if you have to. Carolina's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves it to Ajo. Oh, that's a good hit. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Stopped by the goaltender. Latang's got it in the defensive end. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Niederreiter's got it along the boards. Niederreiter's got it in the offensive zone. And now he angles it across to Tara Vinen. Putting the hard hat on here. What a hit. Well, the athletic therapist is already waiting for him at the door. He got crushed on that hit. He needs some help. Gives them nothing in front. Yeah, he makes a nice save here with the glove, as you mentioned. But he's able to hang on to it. That's a tough save from this position on the ice. Aho's going to try and shake this off and get back into the game, but he took a heavy hit there. The Penguins continue to lead here in this third period. They've been the busier team offensively. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Makes the save. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Unreal pressure. He scores! Aya! He doesn't need too many chances to score. That's one of the reasons he leads his team in goals. He's got a great finish when he gets the opportunity. Pittsburgh's having a lot of fun out there tonight, but Ray, I can imagine it's a different story on the other side of the bench. Yeah, half the guys out here are having fun. The other half, this game can't end quick enough. Quick feed to Walmart. And now it's grabbed by Slavin. Puck dumped in. Feeds the puck up to Gensel. And now it's over to Crosby. Ahead of steam now towards the front. That was a good-looking chance, but he turned it away. Into the offensive end now. Gibbons looks around and tries to make a diagonal pass to Walmart. Getzel's carrying it ahead. To his teammate, picks off the feed. Walmart's moving it ahead. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Too much traffic in the lane. Takes the feed from the goaltender. Slavin stick handling in his own zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Oh, what a stop! Too many bodies in the way. There's another stop!
Pittsburgh's put in one of their most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time, up big time late in this third. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Simone's got it across the line. And he puts that one aside with ease. Here's a short pass to Fleury. Here they are on the attack. Moves the puck up to Simon. Oh, and a great defensive play there. Puck sent in, and that will allow for a fresh group of forwards to get out on the ice. Strom's got it along the wing. Fleury's moving the puck through his own zone. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Reads the pass perfectly and picks it off. Oh, reads it perfectly. Here's a chance. Pittsburgh's looking to break out of their own end. Slides the puck over. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Denies him on the play. And there's the final horn, putting a bow on this one here this evening. A commanding 3-0 series lead on the heels of that victory, but the toughest one is always the hardest to win, isn't it? Well, maybe so. I mean, I was with the Islanders. We were down 3-0 to the Rangers. They should have ended the series then. We had no chance in Game 4, and the Rangers wanted it. If you're the better team, you're just the better team. Well, that closes the book on this playoff barn burner for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We will see you as the playoffs roll on towards the quest for the Cup.